You have the camera, you have the lenses, but your images are still coming out flat. The missing element is lighting. Lighting helps shape the way we perceive a space. Light can be used to direct viewers' attention, highlight important subjects, suggest a mood, or add some style to your videos. Today, we're gonna go over one of the basic lighting techniques, the three-point light system. The first thing you should do when entering a space is turn off the lights. Some buildings use lights that are designed to match daylight, but most of the time, they vary in color, sometimes even within the same room. Photo and video lights are designed to adhere to color temperatures that can be referenced in the camera. This allows you to set the white balance in your camera to match the color temperature of the light. Most cameras have an auto white balance, but depending on your environment, the camera may misjudge the white balance or even worse, change it mid-video. So if you know the color temperature of your light, it's far more accurate to manually enter it into your camera. The key light is our main light source that sets the tone for the space. In this space, we're going to use a COB light. COB, or chip on board, is a light that uses a dense cluster of LEDs to create a powerful single light source. We chose to use this light because it has a Bowens mount for modifiers. We'll get into why you want to modify your light a little later in the video. First thing we're going to do is raise the light. In real life, most powerful light sources come from above. Thus, raising the light creates a more natural look to the video. Next, we're going to adjust the brightness until the skin tone is exposed to our liking. This can vary depending on the person's skin tone and the camera, but the goal is to get the skin tones to land in the middle of the exposure range. Depending on the angle of the light, you may create some unwanted shadows or hot spots. To even this out, we're going to add diffusion. This is where the bones mount comes into play. We're going to add a soft box to the front of the light to add some diffusion and create a larger light source. Larger sources of light create more natural light roll off. However, they will also require more powerful lights as it's distributed across a larger area. You might have noticed that the light is not directly in front of the subject. This is to add some dimension and shape to our subject. Moving the light further to the side increases the shadows and adds a bit of drama to the shot. If you have the key light in a position you like but find that the shadows are too dark, this is when we add a fill light. The fill light, as its name suggests, fills in the shadows. For this light, we're going to use a similar COB light and a soft box setup as the key light and position it in front of our subject on the opposite side from the key light. The goal is to fill in the shadows, but not eliminate them completely, so we will set it at a lower output than the original key light. Moderation is important here, as it will affect the tone of the image. Next, we're going to add a hair light. The hair light goes behind our subject to add some separation from the background. We position this light behind the subject on the opposite side of the key light. Like the fill light, moderation is key here. If it's too high, it can make the subject look like they're glowing. Now that we've lit our subject, we can direct our attention back to the space. Ideally, we want to have enough light in the background to see it, but not enough to distract from our subject. In our space, we're going to use additional lights to add some color to the background. And that's it. That's the basics of a three-point light setup. It's a simple and effective way to light interviews, scripted content, portraits, and more. From this foundation, there are a ton of ways for you to get creative by adding more lights, diffusion, or changing the color of the lights. We use COB lights in this example, but the same principles can be applied to just about any other type of lighting, ranging from traditional tungsten and HMIs to fluorescent light fixtures and LED panels. The most important lesson to take away here is whether you have a high-end cinema camera or a smartphone from three years ago, lighting can transform boring footage into something special. What are your thoughts on the three-point lighting system? Are you interested in more content to upgrade your lighting game? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Jabari with B&H. Have an illuminating day.